Hi and welcome to the 2021 Junk Tour. A uh, tour where we go and visit the thrift stores all across Manitoba. So last year we had uh, a baby kitten meowing in the back seat and uh, I'm very happy to say that the baby kitten's birthday is tomorrow and she is no longer a baby kitten. She's very, very, very spunky now and very frequently in heat so we have to take care of that yet. But uh, it's foggy, it's foggy in here. <laughs> It's foggy out, well it's not foggy, it's smoky. There's a bunch of shit on fire in Ontario, so everything's smoky, so forgive me if my voice is kind of rough. And uh, I think it's supposed to rain all day, which is a first on the junk tour. But that's how things go. So, our first stop is going to be Portage La Prairie. We're leaving nice and early and yeah, we're gonna go there first because we hate missing that one. And to start off the junk tour, oh man, oh man, is a junk tour find itself. And it is Hank James Chevillard. We're going to run free as a pony all the way there. Let's go. <laughs> Porridge MCC thrift store and the best news of the day is that they ripped out all the parking meters so we can actually park in front now instead of what two streets over so uh, we gotta wait eight minutes for it to open and then we're going to go inside and uh, yeah see what kind of interesting goodies we're gonna find this time all right masks on because it's still the um, uh, the pandemic Got my cassette mask, and uh, let's go. Whoo, what a haul. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, I bought a lot of stuff. So we'll go through the stuff that's not really blog worthy first. And I bought a record, which is by Loggins and Messina, Mother Loads. So I always wanted to try out an album by these guys, and so this is my first one. It's in half decent shape, so. Maybe it'll be good. Alright, what else did I get? Oh yeah, CDs. I bought a CD by the Decemberists. Um, they're on the Kill Rockstars label, so I figured I'd give them a shot. I uh, bought The Dreaming by Kate Bush. The Lumineers, I think I covered them on my blog at one point. Um, I could be very wrong. Or they're sitting in my cue box somewhere. PJ Harvey, Dry, I don't have this one. 
I think that's like the only one I don't have. Uh, Best of Alan Parsons Project Volume 2, I have Volume 1, and actually I prefer to get their albums, but yeah, this is fun too. Heather Bishop, autographed. This is apparently my neighbor. Uh, I have a few albums by her. She's actually fairly good. She did a couple children's albums that I used to listen to when I was a kid, and you know, the, the fact that she's my neighbor is pretty interesting. Okay, those are all the official releases that have come out. Now I get to some of the other stuff that I got. Um, I bought a USB floppy drive. It was $1.60, so that's totally worth it. Okay, that's an interesting pile of stuff here. Uh, we got um, Play Guitar More Than Your Woman, whatever that means. <laughs> the Double Eagle Band. Fun! What do we got here? We have Stay With Me Here Tonight by Jerry Bilton and the Redwood Band. This is These are Winnipeg recordings here. Oh, there we go. Uh, Wil Wilcox Gay Home Recorded Records. It's uh, cardboard based. It's, it looks like it's got organ music on it. Uh, hopefully this plays. These are usually difficult. There's a little bit of cracking on this side here, but the other side's not bad. We'll see. We'll see how well that goes for me. I got some floppy disks of Microsoft Works, and if I don't want it, they're, I believe these are double density, I can use them on my Commodore 64. I got some blank tapes, mostly Fuji's. I've been really enjoying these Fuji tapes. A Memorex, another Fuji, a Super Tape, 30 minutes, a JVC, so. Sealed blank tapes are always nice to have, just in case you need to record one. I also got a tape. This isn't the right tape that's in here. Uh, who knows what's on it, but we'll find out. This would be good. We have, what is this? F the Finally Made It Band. <laughs> Didn't I cover these guys? I think I might have. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, there's a song on here called, I Was 35, I Was Going to Hell. That'll be good. Oh, and the stack of CDs. There's two copies of this there. Helen White, What the Hell's Uh This one's sealed, I took the sealed one. Uh, Sapphire, The Uppity Blues Women. There's songs on here like, Dump that chump, bitch with a attitude, not an attitude, ah, oh, bitch with a bad attitude, sorry. Middle-aged blues boogie. Uh, <laughs> so that should be amusing. We have standing room only, pure acapella. We might do this one here. Um, yeah, we got um, just my imagination, you can call me Al, in my room, stand by me, the house at Pooh Corner, under the boardwalk, there's all kinds of hits on here. So, I'll keep that aside. The Shed, this is Newfie Jokes and Music. Apparently funny Newfie Jokes and Music, but we shall see. Our Way Music, Our Passion. <laughs> uh, you got, what up? When I Would Sing With Daddy, You Are My Sunshine, you know, all those classics. Um, this is from the National Music Service of Spokane, Washington. I am completely unsure of what's on this, so I figured I'd grab it. Okay. Jerry Michiels and the Moonlighters. Uh, looks like it might just be fiddle music, but there's, there's four people here, so it can't be just fiddle music. Soft and Easy, Guitar and Keyboard Instrumentals by Derek and Dorothy. Look at that, look, they're so happy. Oh. Oof. Wind Beneath My Wings, Yesterday, Wheels, oh, all my favorites. Probably butchered. You have Grace Again by, uh, this is Mr. Wonderful from uh, 
what do you call it, it's a shark tank or whatever, uh, at least it looks like him. Uh, oh, this is Willie and Rody Longnecker. We've covered them before. <laughs> I didn't recognize them. Wow. He usually has a hat on. Oh, man. He's got his family and his house there. And those are all things that contribute to good music. The year of 84. Um, uh, yeah. This is a good looking album Ay, 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 ay. from the heart songs by Doug Brown um, hmm, looks like mostly Christian music but we'll see a mr. Brown sounds this one I guess it's LXC it's sealed and there's not much else listed on it this is Katie Murphy, X's and Uh-Oh's, which is not the L. King song. So I figured I'd just, you know, splurge on this one and see if she's any good or if she's garbage. I would also like to give the award of Dickhead of the Year to the guy who parked right in front of me. There is, you know, miles and miles of parking space way ahead of me. And he pretty much snuggled his ass right up to my bumper. So we're going to listen to Standing Room Only, pure a cappella. And the song I'm going to play is You Can Call Me Al. Wonderful song by Paul Simon. And we'll see how wonderful it is once I play the damned thing. Okay, here we go. Ba -da -ba -ba, ba -da -ba -ba, ba -da -ba -ba. Okay. Where are we going? Um, Carberry? No, um, Austin. Oh, we're going to Austin next. All right, let's go to Austin and listen to these guys sing. I need a photo opportunity. I want a shot of redemption. Don't end up a cartoon in a cartoon graveyard. Bone digger, bone digger. Dogs in the moonlight. Far away, my well at room. Mr. Beer Belly, Beer Belly, get these mutts away from me, you know. I don't find this stuff amusing anymore. Now, if you'll be my bodyguard, I can be a long lost pal. I can call you Betty. And Betty, when you call me, you can call me out. A man walks down the street, he says, Why am I short of attention? Got a short little span of attention. The rest of my nights are so long. Where's my wife? Family. What if I die here? Who'd be my role model? Now that my role model is gone, gone, he slipped back down the alley with some roly poly little bad faced girl. We finally found the Austin thrift store, which was on the main drag we were driving on all along. So, <laughs> this is where we bought the, what was his name? Hank Chevillard or whatever? Yeah, Hank James Chevillard. We bought this at that thrift store when it was in the old location. So, if we could have stuff like this there, who knows what we're going to find this time. <laughs> Let's go! Alright, Austin's thrift store always has interesting goodies. So, here's what I got. I got a Texas Instruments TI-83 Plus book to show you how to use your expensive calculator. That's the only real, you know, proper thing I bought. Now for the junk. Uh, we have a record called Let It Play On by Beverly Bremers. I, I've never heard of this lady. I've never heard of Scepter Records. So, well, she's in black and white and she's barefoot. So. <laughs> I'm suspecting hippie music, but you never know. It could be death metal. Cassettes. Oh, cassettes, cassettes, cassettes. Uh, what do we have here? <laughs> we have um, Locals George and Susie Wicks. Look at them. Oh, they look like a sweet old couple. I think so. What do they got on here? If Teardrops for Pennies. Um, wreck of Number Nine. Sure. Wreck of Number Nine. Okay. Uh, some cassette that says Little Jake Weeb on it. So maybe it has somebody's kid on it. I have a video cassette, eight millimeter. I don't know what's on it. We'll find out. If there's anything good on it, I'll tack it onto this video. 
Um, oh, I got another Arnie tape. Country Classics Volume 1. Old Log Cabin for Sale. This is one of his earlier releases. I don't know. I think all of his releases are earlier ones. He put out a ton of albums, that guy. We have We Three and... Wow. We got uh, Joan McKay again. I seem to get a Joan McKay album like on every single trip and I've never seen this one. So that's fun. Some tape, what is this? Jake Penner, Calgary. That's all it says. We have From the Heart. There's no cover for that. Um, yeah. So From the Heart. Tiger Hills Group, and it has their phone number on it. I should block it out. There we go. It's a very home recorded tape. Do we have any good songs on here? Red-Headed Fiddler, Waltz Across Texas. It's probably all like instrumentals, but I don't see any microphones, so who knows? Now, the CDs. We got, a fun, we got some fun ones here. We got Anna Loon, I Can Go Anywhere, from the world of Av... Oh, a Ava Loon. A it's sealed. Some kid's album. It's called The Kitty, Mud, Libby the Loon, Naptime Lullaby, everybody's favorite songs. We have Down on the Farm by Michael Peters. <laughs> Uh, there was two copies of this, so I figured I should grab one. I mean, I'm guessing it's, you know, country music that is very mediocre, but I figured I'd try it. The Second Time Around, Melodies of Romance, Volume 2 by Emil Pandolfi. Look at that guy. We have, uh, I Only Have Eyes for You, Smoke Gets in Your Eyes. Um, so yeah, there's some songs we know on there. He, he's got Long in the Back and Nothing on Top. Very nice hairstyle. We have, um, this is Barrage Vagabond Tales. It's autographed by everybody who lives in Manitoba, I'm guessing. I'm probably in there somewhere. And, <laughs> okay, the, 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 the one we're probably gonna listen to. Rachel Quelch, Basement Melodies and the Faulty Piano. Um, <laughs> I don't know what this is. I'm guessing is we got Falling from Grace, Piano Messes Up During Track, Sorry. <laughs> missing Year? Missing Feet? Oh, Missing featuring. featuring Joel Van Cownet, Drowning Heart, Lighthouse, Life's Rush, and Crazy featuring Joel Van Cownet, or whatever his name is. So, yeah, we're going to do that one. Will it play? It should. Yeah, looks like it'll play. Okay, Rachel Quelch. Um, my partner in crime has asked that I do the song Crazy because she thinks it'll be cover. I'd rather hear the piano mess up, but I guess we'll go with Crazy. You do you, dear. I uh, do me? Okay. Uh, falling from... Gr I don't know the song Falling from Grace, but I want to hear the piano mess up. If it'll play. It's a burn to CD, you never know. All right, we're going to Carberry. Yeah. The water 
crashes down on me. I see you there, it makes me weak. You told me that you wanted to hold me in your arms, but that is true. We're at Offbeat and Antiques, neat, fun, poopy stuff store. Um, I'm gonna see if I can bring the camera inside because um, most of the stuff is too expensive and too large for me to purchase. But I would like to, you know, get some pictures of that, and I thought I think it would be interesting. So let's go in, and maybe I'll buy another Commodore typewriter. Ha ha. So I bought nothing at the antique store. My partner in crime did. Uh, I tried to check, uh, I tried to put on some uh, hubcaps and see if they fit on the camper, which they did not, so no sale there. So no Commodore typewriters and no sale for me today, but that's just how it goes. So we're gonna head to Nipawa. We're gonna get some lunch and then head to Nipawa. So on the way there, we'll listen to Sapphire, the uppity blues women. Live and uppity. Um, what songs should we do? Uh, bitch with a bad attitude or dump that chump? Dump that chump. <laughs> okay, we'll do dump that chump. Track 13. <laughs> we'll see what this is like here. All right, let's go. Whenever he gets ready when he goes outdoors Don't come back, but 
sandwiches to change his drawers. He's sitting at home by yourself. He's out with his buddies or somebody else. Thought of yourself more than once. Drop that drink, you better dump that chump. Yeah, dump that chump. Come on, dump that chump. Dump that chump. We're at the, what is it, Salvation Army, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is. Salvation Army Thrift Store in Nipawa. And uh, I always come out with a mitt full of stuff here. Last time we got that uh, RV Aardvark uh, video, which was really, really, really bad. <laughs> you flied, you died. All right, let's go buy some more shitty videos and stuff. Oh, Nipawa, Nipawa, Nipawa. The things you have. <laughs> okay, first things first. I got a copy of Snoopy and his friends, the Royal Guardsmen. I'm kind of frustrated because I did pay good money for one of these. Although this one's, I think the one I have is in better shape than this one. I still picked it up because... Oh, weird. There was something on the back here that you're supposed to tear off. wonder what it was. Don't know, but yeah. The, the Snoopy songs, the three Snoopy songs that are in existence. We have another record. This is Songs for Canada Year. <laughs> I don't know what year that was. Uh, probably sometime in the 50s or 60s, judging from the type of, and the word micro groove on the record. So, Songs for Canada Year. I got me some DVDs. I got the Band Jam for Cancer, the DVD experience. Uh, I don't know what bands are on here, and well, I guess I'll have to find out. I also have uh, Grease performed at the Roxy Theater in 2009. <laughs> oh boy, uh, that'll be entertaining, I, I'm pretty sure. So we'll probably tack something on from one of those onto this video. I bought a reel-to-reel -reel tape. I don't know if there's anything on it. And it's got a microphone too. And an instruction manual for a tape recorder that I probably don't have. Actually, I might have it. No, I don't have it. Okay. And the CDs. Oh, yeah. We have Mary Duff, Heartbreaker. I have never heard of Mary Duff. I don't know who she is. She has a fan club though, but she has a whole bunch of cover songs like Strawberry Wine. I don't know if Heartbreaker is a cover song. Walking on the Moon. We'll see. We have um, Wayne Link stealing the blues. Look at this guy. He's having a good time on that slide guitar. Does he play? Is it just like the slide guitar and that's it? Oh. Okay. have <laughs> McGregor Collegiate Senior Band. Um, bunch of classical pieces. They're, ooh, judging by the age of the kids, uh, they'll be probably mediocre. Dancing with the Hippos. Intermediate music students at Valley View Elementary. Somebody colored that. And we have songs like, well, I don't know these songs. Uh, hot, 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 crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. Uh, Stir it up. <laughs> Stir it up is a Bob Marley song. So what is it all reggae stuff? We might do that. We'll see. Now this one. This one's interesting. We got Phil Neville and the Virtual Ensemble. With special guests, Rachel Quelch. That's the one we just listened to from uh, Austin there. So, I thought that was interesting. Features Rachel Quelch. She's got her own sticker too. So, maybe she's a thing and I've never heard of her. How come I've never heard of this woman? Well, how much discography does she have? Who knows? 
So, we'll do Dancing with the Hippos. Because it's summertime, we'll do the song Hot, Hot, Hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Remember on uh, The Office when, uh, what's his name, uh, got uh, a steel drum? <laughs> you know, feeling hot, hot, hot. And you just play the one song, or the one note. That's pretty good. All right, Dancing with the Hippos, track eight. And we're going to Brandon. Let's go to Brandon. an MCC thrift shop where the crappy CDs are expensive so I gotta be a little on the choosy side but then again maybe they'll smarten their asses up and price them a little lower to get rid of them because there's a lot <laughs> all right let's go the recording uh-huh uh, okay well there's some fun stuff in here I got to shake the dice and I got a uh, 30% discount on everything, which is, you know, well deserved considering how much CDs are. Although, I only got four CDs. So, um, yeah, I was fairly picky in there. So, my partner in crime found this really weird picture book. And it's got, look at this angry bitch, eh? Look at her. Look, she's like, you know, fuck you. Beat you in the head. Look at this guy. He's praying for that to break, and so it broke, and then she's getting all pissed off because God broke it. And now she's really mad, and she reads the Bible. Or greetings in half. I think she killed him. Oh my God, she did! That's horrible! Oh, well, I'm not reading this. <laughs> we'll post it on the blog later at classicalgasemissions.com. Um, hey, how about one record? Uh, Dear Mr. John Stone, a record album by Ian R. John Stone, featuring Abby Yo-Yo. <laughs> and it's autographed to Trevor. My name is not Trevor. I bought these uh, Agfa cassettes. I've never tried them. Well, this is a Permatron. I don't know if that's any good. These are all chrome tapes, type 2s. It's an Agfa too. So, we'll see if they're any good. It's got German music on it, so they're probably from German. Just a guess. I could be wrong. Hey, 
brakes. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. We got the fugitives. I'm pretty sure I've covered these guys once before, so I, unless there's, you know, more than one band named the fugitives, and that is entirely possible. We have the Cantabile singers. Sincerely, there's too damn many of them. Oh man. Uh, Country Blend. It's got Joan McKay in it. We got two of her albums this trip. How many albums did this woman put out? Like, it's crazy. Like, I don't have this one. Um, we have Sing Along Golden Oldies. This is, uh, to advocate and promote meaningful opportunities for others. Uh, yeah. Margie? What? I don't really, I know you are my sunshine. Home on the range. <laughs> we got Papa John's Musical Garden. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Papa. We'll play you later. I posted this cover on my blog years and years and years ago, but the wrong tape was in it. So finally, I got the right tape in it. This is uh, Artie plunging in again. So he's playing the plunger on this one instead of a fiddle. Well, he's using a coat hanger as a bow. All right, CDs. I've covered Bob King a few times. I have a video of him on, I don't know if it was last year's junk tour or the year before, but I do have him, but I've never seen this album. So I grabbed it. Bob King, what can you sing is the first song. It's fun to be Ukrainian, that might be good. The Winker song. Winkler song. Yeah, that's, uh, isn't that a cover of, uh, I'm a wanker, I'm a wanker. Although, I don't think that'll be it on here. Huh, yeah, fun. Yeah, Counterpoint. I don't know what this is. There's not much the Alabama Jazz Bow Band, what? Stepping Out, I wonder if that's the uh, Tony Orlando and Dawn song. I should have looked in the book that was in the store. Uh, there's not much in here either. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't know about that one. We have uh, the Slaughterhouse Five. <laughs> this is a Christian band. <laughs> Who are they killing? <laughs> and we have. The Corn Potato String Band. Put your, put on your old gray bonnet. <laughs> um, that might be a good one to listen to. Put on your old gray bonnet. Or that hot lick fiddling man. <laughs> so I decided on the Bob King CD. I wanna hear It's Fun To Be Ukrainian. And the CD is sealed, so. Yeah, open it, there we go. Fresh Bob. Okay. Then we're gonna go to the, um, was it Teen Hunger Force thrift store or whatever it's called? Yeah. Um, the Super Thrift. Okay. Okay, Bob. I don't like 
like couscous or pizza or chow mein. But since the quiche seduce my taste buds, all other food goes right down the drain. For Yachimay Shushadobra! Everybody polka! <laughs> I'm enjoying this Bob King song. That was a good choice. Um, we're at uh, Super Thrift. Uh, hopefully nobody gets mad at my parking job because I have a trailer attached, but yeah, it should be okay, maybe. I hope. Uh, let's go, well, at least smiling because we have a nice trailer. <laughs> so let's go buy some more fun-to-be Ukrainian music. Oh, they always have lots to dig through. Last time I was here, I raided through the um, the Ventures albums and I bought like most of them. Still have them. Okay, records. We have Profit Picking. <laughs> why did I buy this? Oh, it has Ghost Riders in the Sky. That's why. Um, the Rock and Roll Circus. Yeah, these are all medleys of covers of like 50s and 60s songs, I believe. And they all signed the cover, which is kind of amusing. There's nothing on the back. I bought a Jody Miller album. This is a real album. I, uh, I have one of her other albums. I really liked it. So I bought another one. Okay. Um, I bought a DVD. Quest Music Recitals 2011. I don't know, somebody's burned DVDs of recitals. But That's a music store. Is it? In Winnipeg. Is it? Uh-huh. I can't read it. it. Oh. Oh, Quest Music. Oh, yes! Yes, yes, it is. Okay, well, it'll still be interesting. Okay, CDs. I bought some real ones. At least I hope I did. Yeah, here we go. The real ones. I bought a Steve Miller CD, Living in the 20th Century. I was very surprised to find this in there, so I'm very happy with that one. That's pretty cool. Uh, two Biff Naked albums. I've been meaning to check out Biff Naked, and so I bought two Biff Naked albums. But... And now, there was lots to pick through. So I grabbed the ones that didn't have UPC codes on them to ensure that extra dose of garbage. Although I got a, um, a CD caddy, which is nice, because these are hard to find. So I take the desk out and throw it away. Okay. We have One Nation Over God, Dave, Dwayne, and Neil. Look at these three old bastards, eh? We'll see how good or bad they sing. We have Vern Dirksen, What a Healing Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. Looks like he's singing karaoke in front of the fireplace. This one just looked interesting. Deborah. Sa Satiria. It looks like death metal or something. So I grabbed it. See if it's any good. Peter Morris, by request. Peter Morris sings songs like Blue Angel, I Want You, I Need You, I Love You, Blue Bayou. Lots, lots of Roy Orbison on here. Holy crap. We might do that one. We have Molly B, a song for everyone. She's got um, I Fall to Pieces, What a Wonderful World, Zippity Doodah, The Rainbow Connection. <laughs> that might be a fun one. Why there's so many? Oh, oh, 
we'll put it in the pile. These are hard to decide between. Uh, Angela Kelman, Cafe Brasilia. Um, my Sharia more to stir with love. That might be good. Love will keep us together. So yeah, another winner there. And I got Kayla Lucky. Uh, I don't think I know anything on this, but there's no UPC code, so I figured I'd just grab it. All right. And the winner is Peter Morris by request. Um. Yeah, we know like nothing about this guy who played on this album. It could be karaoke tracks and him just singing along to them. Because there's really... It was mixed by some guy. Uh, tells tells us where him and his wife live. And that's the extent of it all. Now, what song? Um, Blue Bayou. Love Hurts. Stand by me, can't help falling in love. Crying. Crying is a Roy Orbison song that is not exactly easy to sing. Let's see how he does with it. So you're setting him up for failure. I I'm not setting him up for failure. No, I'm setting him up for success. Track number seven. We gotta go find some food. So we'll drive around and find some food and then we're going to Valley Village after. I was alright for a while. I could smile for a while. <laughs> but I saw you last night. You held my hand so you can sing. And you stopped to say hello. I'm impressed, Mr. Morris. Oh, you wish you All right, well. let's go find food. Village, we are here, and yeah, we're gonna find junk. I hope I don't know. We didn't, I didn't find much last year, 
And it seems to be hit or miss every year. It's like usually one year it's hit, one year it's miss. And I think last year was the miss. So hopefully today will be a hit. Uh, this is our last thrift store stop for the day. And then we'll go to bed and get up bright and early to go to Carmen tomorrow. But that'll be in a different video. Remember classicalgasemissions.com if you want to see um, extended reviews of some of the albums that I picked up. And sound clips. Because I go through everything, review it, and put sound clips up on classicalgasemissions.com. All right, anyway, let's, uh, I don't need my sunglasses for that. Huh. Let's go in and buy junk. Hey, hey, hey. We're back from Valley Village. And, wow. They jacked up the price of a bunch of their records. So, uh, they had some okay stuff in there. They went like $20 a record, which was absolutely stupid. I don't think I would ever pay $20 for a 10cc record. Anyways, I got a few things. I got a 78. Uh, Race with the Devil and Gonna Back Up Baby by Gene Vincent. He's the guy who did uh, Bebop Alula. So that was kind of a nice find. It's for my grandma phone. I picked up Peter Appleyard Bob's. This is a Canadian Talent Library production on Pickwick Records. Everybody loves Pickwick. I picked up a soundtrack. The Back to the Beach. I've never heard of this movie. In fact, you know, most of the soundtracks I pick up, I've never heard of them. The cover's all beat up, but it has a version of Surf and Bird by Pee Wee Herman on it. <laughs> so I look forward to hearing that. All right. Other stuff. Uh, more blank tapes. There's an old JVC, a new JVC, and a Max L XL2. And this is all I got for junk mm -hmm. music. Jeez. Okay, well, that's better than nothing. We got Music and Folklore. Uh, Association of Eastman Incorporated proudly presents Rural Roots Number no. One with a whole bunch of artists. So, yeah, um, I, don't, I don't know if any of these people are good. I don't know who any of them are, but we'll eventually find out. Okay, two CDs. We have A Giant Leap of Faith Volume Three. Um, I don't know what this would be. I know none of these songs. Yeah, I really don't know. 1993, a 1993 Sleet Cooperative Recording Project. So I think it's a bunch of... It's a compilation of who knows who. I need volumes one and two. And I got Scott Cooper strumming. I don't know who this guy is, but we might listen to him strum, because this is a burn CD. So, um, yeah, he looks like a piece of work. Okay, Scott Cooper. What songs do we have? There Are No Words. Well, that's no good. All the Lies, My Friends Band, My Favorite Star, Me, Touch, Soak, Don't Turn Around. I wonder if that's the Ace of Bass song. Talk Me Down, Shiver, and Campfire song. Uh, I think we should listen to All the Lies. And we'll see what Scott Cooper sounds like here. And we're going to call it a night. And we'll see you on day two. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, Scott. And the first thing that she said Is get your mind, yeah, get your mind off me And all the things we used to be And my world came crashing down Upon my head and with it All the laughs and all the love And all, all the love
some guy right by my eyes and did all of the things she did to me. So I grabbed somebody else.